in the off lane, mid one. Back mid, mid one's following this Leshek around. They may be able to get a glimpse kill. No, two points of Thunder Strike. But if you wanted to go into DJ here, I'm not sure that's the oh, play. That's my mid one's going through the spike care pace. He's got Vendetta, he's gotten pale, but he's taking a lot of damage now. Coming up with the Pulse Nova. Has to pop the Vendetta, but they have the damage coming through, and Fata gets it done. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Mind Control getting caught with the Rocket Barrage. Another one's ready to call down, is going to hit. It should be in time. But can he get there for the Rocket Barrage before the surge is up? Wall drop down. They're going to chase him up and into the tree line. It's going to be Ohio getting the kill coming through with this Scorched Earth. Nicely done. It'll be a one for one exchange across the map. Both offloaders going down, but it might not be done yet. Icarus dive, Sun Ray, 343 takes damage. Magic Missile, Wave of Tear. This should be more than enough. The TP will not be successful for 343. The counter helixes will get him a couple of last hits in the process, but he does fall, and Liquid get two instead of the one that Fnatic got. Yeah, good couple of kills. The Nyx kill, the. Right click him down. Mind Control kind of needed that kill. You look at where he is positioned in the net worth, it's not great. That death earlier certainly hurt him a lot, not to mention the fact that his landing phase has not been super great. Well, mid one wants this Jarex kill. Not an easy one to get with no. the tower vision. Meanwhile, Ohio will find the kill on to, uh, actually Ohio goes down. It's going to be the Vengeful Spear and Fossil rotating mid. I think Ohio was just trying to get levels in the mid lane. He actually falls, but Jarex is so close to that threshold. Mid one wants to go for the impale, but he's further into the tree line. Three for three says, screw it. I'm going to dive under the tower. The Icarus dive comes out from Jarex. Is there any TP to the tier one from Fnatic to, to stop him from getting away. There's a TP available for Jerex. He should be able to get out just fine. There's a skirmish down bottom happening, and it looks like Mushi's going to go down at the end. Dead for 32, and he just sunrays over the cliff and just gets out in time. Okay. Interesting place for Jerex. <laughs> that works, we're, I guess. We're watching this Phoenix turns out. It's Jerex. He knows how to get out of there, but Fnatic ready to defend their T1 bottom. Oh, Mind Control gets doomed up. They drop the wall for that kill onto Mamushi, by the way, and here comes the Impale hitting only onto one, but the Static Storm Kinetic Peel. Can they get the glimpse back in my control? Do they need it? Matumba Man falling low as well, but not dead yet. They need a call. They need a chopper. They need something. They've gotten that kill on my control, but it's still a one for one engage. They finally bring down that like of a mid one in trouble. No more spike care pace. He's going to turn with the impale. He'll stay alive. They've got call with 343. He'll pop it off. Counter Helix Prox one. Can he get another coming through? Chop should be available. Kuroki will try to TP out. They won't be able to get the job done without the Infernal Blade, and they get the kill with it. Three down for Liquid. They need the Infernal Blade to stop the TP and get the KO, but Ohio coming up big yet again. Yeah, unfortunately for mid one, he could have escaped, but he tried to eat. I mean, a very effective game out of Fata's Leshrac. I feel I felt like, given the start he had, it wasn't going to be so easy for him, but he's managed to get a lot out of his rotation. 343 is alone, and he has dived past the Tier 1 tower. Yeah. He went way too deep. Sunray comes out. The Iron Shell will take him down. That was just... He had no backup whatsoever. The closest person was <laughs> Mushi in the jungle. He's I, just farming. I imagine Mushi will have some stern words about that one. <laughs> like the second off of that impale, but here comes Ohio. They drop the sentry down. Now the supernova comes out, and Fonta is going to be here to help with Matumba Man. The rest of the liquid crew are ready to go. They've got their ultimate. Supernova will go off. Will they try to re-engage? Mid one, he's got that vendetta. They're going to pop the call down. Fonta spike carapace. He's going to get caught with the impale. Vacuum into the wall, but it's only a mid one. The kinetic field coming out. The doom is going to be on Matumba Man. Kuroki is going to be next with the infernal blade. Call comes through from three four three. Splinter comes out. They brought back on Father back into the fray, but Kuroki about to fall. Mushi comes in with a rocket barrage. Everyone is solo on Fnatic, with the exception of that doom. They will get pushed back. The buyback yield. Nothing for Liquid and Bata, and Fnatic will back away happy with that engagement. Yeah, such a very aggressive buyback from Fata, and I, I, I like the kind of decision there, but Liquid just didn't have a good way to force the fight. They haven't got an initiator, and that's one of the big weaknesses of their draft. The Venge swap is like an initiation coming from your supports, but it's not like you've got the glimpse, which is much more reliable. One sentry down mid, I believe, and that's about it. There's not much vision yeah. for them. They should have a couple of sentries on them, I think, at this point in time, but nothing else. Uh, you can see the oh, Vengeance doesn't have any past neither the vision. Phoenix. They're going to go for this. They're looking to glimpse back, and they will find the Static Storm. Jarax can't get off of the Icarus Dive in time, and there comes the chop right down, splitting the head. 343 gets the kill, and that should put him up to a decent amount of money on top of the fact that he, I think, already has a Vanguard. Uh, he's just the casual bit booster, bit booster for now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think buying the Vanguard is going to slow down the Blink Dagger too much, so. Just holding out on that pickup. Here comes mid one up top. The Vendetta initiation. Mind control gets Carapace. Yeah, the Iron Shell is there. The Vendetta, the Impale, the Mana Burn in Ohio comes in with the Infernal Blade, brings him down. That's a huge pickup for mid one. Fnatic are just moving around the map really well, following the laning stage. They're just they're not overcommitting resources. Doom comes, Doom comes out into Fata. Rocket Barrage coming through. Mushi doing some damage. Great Supernova, but still back wall is going to do some work. Everybody tank it. They pop the mech. Fnatic going to work. Impale up into the top of man. He's getting low. The Aegis will go down. Do they have the damage here? Three four three is low. Magic missile. He's about to fall. They've only gotten the Aegis for Liquid and Fnatic have to back. Mushi in Ohio solo. The Sunray not able to kill either of these heroes just yet. They'll be able to get. Up into the enemy jungle. Kinetic field for DJ to cover their retreat, and Liquid will be happy.
happy with that. They get the Roche, they get one kill, and they might even get more here. I, I, that looked like Fnatic were about to get team wiped there, but here comes mid one with a blink dagger. Vendetta's gonna go Impale, not there yet. Magic Missile, they missed the Impale, but still they should get this kill. Ohio, though, Split Earth, no, it's the Lightning Storm. Not doing enough damage. DJ and Ohio, both so low. The Sunray should bring down the Disruptor. He's gonna stick up, but won't be able to stay alive. And Matumba Man shapeshifted again, looking for more Carnage, but Fnatic have backed away. They could have gotten out there with DJ, but he stayed a bit too long. Fighting in two or one. Yeah, T1 tower was up, and they dived the T2 tower to win a fight. Yep. That was when they, they killed Kura's AA. Liquid know like they've made this play before. They're gonna be very cautious walking forward. The swap in, Ohio in trouble. Magic Missile will stun him up. He's still got that Doom. Back wall comes out. Ohio in trouble. They won't be able to save him. The kinetic field static storm not there. DJ getting chased down by Tumble Man. A couple more right clicks. Gets the double kill. Dominating spree goes right to the ancient ancients. He says, Thank you very much. Let me continue to farm. We're getting back that's, in it. That's that's a great initiation. Couldn't even get the mech off if he doesn't get blown up there, gets the mech off, turns and dooms someone, it perhaps Fnatic have a fighting chance, but... Oh, 3-4-3, three, three, stay too long again, this time close to the tier 2 tower. Magic Missile into the split earth from Fata, and they find themselves another freebie. Fnatic, mm, making a couple of positional errors here. And importantly, this is off of let to find some momentum, and this is really the stage of the game where the Lycan push gets very scary and strong. Necro 3 already completed. Fata with the 15 shots of his blood Fall down, blink, stun, only hitting onto two. Great static storm, Fata in trouble, will fall. Dooms up into mind control, can't get off his mech. He's gonna get Glimpse back as well. Pretty low to the rocket barrage. Couple more right clicks will do the job. They're gonna turn their attention to Kuroki, knowing that mind control will probably go down. They will deny him in the end, but still, Kuroki will fall yet again, as of course, Fata has respawned from that Bloodstone, but still, he did die in that engagement. Yeah, and the, the fast respawn is kind of wasted. You want to have that fast respawn in a fight that's like an even trade-off, but that was just a straight-up fanatic obliteration. They get such a good jump. I mean, their team fight with the Blinks on Nyx with the Static Storm and cooldown follow-up is incredibly scary, yeah. and that's something where Leshrick on the front lines Want to get this outer tower, one of the last. There's the one top and the one in the mid lane. Kuroki, he's going to find DJ. No swap, it's only level one, not quite the range for it. Kinetic Field blink further. They're looking for the Impale. Glimpse back at a Kuroki. They have to pop the shape shift, swap out to make sure he gets away. They drop the Supernova on top of it all, and DJ will fall instantly. Mid one's going to get chased down as well. They have the Necro through, they have the dust up, and mid one will fall next. But Tumbo finds yet another double kill. Back and forth we go in 3 4 3. He thought about going and blinks back. He's like, I don't want any part of that engagement. Kuro just playing that ballsy front line. He like goes in, gets vision for his team, and when he gets clips back, he he swaps. Supernova gets off perfectly timed. He's still in a bad position, but they might counter engage here with Liquid ready to go. Impale's gonna come out. Mana Bird comes through as well. Static Storm on top of it. Kinetic Field is it there. Swap out from Kuroki. Beautifully done. Rocket Barrage not doing enough damage. He's actually taking a lot of it. Back wall onto three. You'll lose the Nyx Assassin almost instantly. Ohio will fall next. Gets off the Infernal Blade, but the Pulse Nova and Edict going to work. Fata would bring him down with that Lightning Storm. Too dead for Fnatic. Great back wall for Mind Control yet again. Doesn't look to be done just yet. DJ on the run from a Lycan. Not again. He, he's just died to creeps. He doesn't want to die again. Please, no. Have Help count of these BKBs, but we haven't seen it. Fnatic sitting on the low ground, smoked up. And Liquid will do the same. Fata is still very tanky and does a lot of damage. He's going to jump in Splitter. No, it's the Lightning Storm. He's actually been spiked, carry pissed up. They're going to go to work on him. Fata will pop the BKB. The Infernal Blade comes out. Supernova on top of it all. Static Storm misses. Resolution, or excuse me, Mushi going to work with the right click will get the job done. Broki, he's going to go to get on by 343. He has the call coming. And he only should get chopped down. Tumble Man gets a double kill. There's the Sunray onto Ohio get brought down as well. So three dead, just like that. No buybacks on any of them, and what was going to be a smoke in favor of Fnatic actually turns into a smoke in favor of Liquid. They miss all of their abilities. They don't get anything. They're going to find more on Mushi. Swap out of the Splitter. The Magic Missile will come through as well. The call Down will do some damage, but the Wave of Terror on the Edict coming through is more than enough. And that is it. GG, just like that. Liquid will take the series 2-1.